Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Romance Sense. Roman, Romance Sense. Romance Sense, which is a game from humble bundle people, which hopefully, hopefully, see, I have no idea what the game is about. I guess the apocalypse. That's the line. I don't know what's gonna happen. Actually, I never know what's gonna happen. Have I not had the ability to tell the future ever? Hmm, maybe I do. <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen. Now I gotta check the stream. See if it's looking good. But this one refresh. Not so funky fresh are you stream. There you are. All right. Mm, controls. Every mouse knows since the 65 run to Okay, all right. New game, of course. Loading systems. Okay, ooh, it's a blue. Day one. Oh, what the hell was that? Day one of N. Ooh. Hello. Ooh, I got a key card. Examine. Examine. The text on this was really worn and illegible. Mm. What about collect? We have collected a key card. I see. What now? Ooh. I can walk, people. Can I run? Yes, I can. Hey, guys. Hello, anime. So, when will you have it fixed? Um, sorry. That's what you should be. I've been waiting for someone to fix the key card reader. To the lobby for 47 minutes. 47. I timed that it's in that right, Harold. Uh, that you did, my love. I counted every river in circle. See, even my lovely Harold agrees. And the worst part is that I finished my cocktail five minutes ago. Ghastly service. Utterly ghastly. Why didn't I? Why didn't you go get another one then? I'm sorry. Is it, why didn't you go get another one then? Because the key card reader is broken. We've been stuck out here all morning. It's been just dreadful. When will you have a fix? I don't know. Well, that's just not good enough. What kind of a TV operation are you running right here? Apparently a bad one. I'm not running anything. That much is obvious. You hardly seem to type to. One would just trust with the responsibilities of management, after all. Uh, you do well to listen to her. She's been trying to manage me for years. See, Harold agrees. The only thing I trust you with is fetching drinks. Yes, well. Vodka, preferably, and make it snappy, young man. I'm utterly parched. Uh, okay. Eh, I should not have talked to her. Is the sun getting closer? Where's the sun? Alright, send cocktail at that. First of all, yeah, get it yourself. No regards. Well, I never, I'll be having a word with the management about this. Good, maybe they can tell me what's going on. Such a bitch. What does space do? Space does nothing. We're in space, space, space. No, oh, I got a key card. It's, uh, oh, it's a tennis court. Oh, that's boring. I wanted a pool. Oh, let's get to the tennis court. Fuck those stairs. Hmm, what are, can I grab here? No. Can I play tennis? Give me a tennis ball, somebody. 
Hey, 15 love, bitch. You lost nothing. Is that the sun? Is it getting closer? It could be getting closer. Why are you naked, old man? Why are you naked, young man? Woman? Who knows? Who the hell knows? Hey, it's a people. I just uh, wanted to see. There appears to be a problem with the key card reader. Do you know where I can find some cocktails? I would love some cocktails, but I'm sorry. What the? F the key card reader is broken. Do you know when it'll be fixed? No, I fucking don't. That's not good enough. If I have many of a mini I simply can't have mess. I need to know when I can get inside as soon as possible. Can you ask the manager? Where would I find one? I don't know. Surely you must have some kind of protocol in place for a keycard reader malfunction. I have no idea what's going on. The keycard reader is broken. It's not a difficult concept. No, I mean, I don't know why I'm here. What do you mean you don't know why you're here? Are you new? I'm not sure if I'm even an employee. What are you doing here? You're far too young to be able to afford to stay so this prestigious. I don't know. I just woke up here. Really? Do you have amnesia? Uh, maybe. Shit. I used to have trauma, not that I remember. Hmm, I suppose that you wouldn't. Make sure to let your manager know about your injury when you see them. Make sure they get the key, key career fixed, uh, if I ever find them. Uh, I have some better things to do, I think. Uh oh. What did I do? Day two of. Hmm. So this was still my days for a kicker reader? What the fuck? Hey guys, I'm not talking to you. I'm going this way now because that other guy was a bummer. At least he thought. Hey, it's a face. Hello face. Is the sun getting closer? How do I zoom in? Oh, I hear. Peter. Did they say Peter? Peter, I can't go into the sand, Peter. Oh, fucking kids! Skip that old people, cause you saw you stupid old woman. Fuck you! Ooh, did you finish the decoration? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? Shut up, kids. Shut up. See, do I have so many? Oh. Oh, now you're standing away from the sun. Where's the sun? Hey, sun, are you getting closer? I can't tell. Hey guy, hey look at you and all your drinks. Good luck with that. You? Ah, uh, can I examine? Can I just authorize two key cards? Two. It's locked. Damn, should have fucking know. That's your shit. Can I use it on this one? Yes. Uh, uh, yes is number two. Ah, uh, stupid. How can I send this one? Two. Damn it. Can I go this way? No, no, I cannot. Can I use it on this one? Do it. Hey guy, 
I remember something. Oh, he's going to see there appears to be a problem with the Did we do this yesterday? What are you on about? Don't you remember? I spent 20 minutes with you. I don't mean to get to. Did Sylvia send you? Uh, no. The how could you possibly know about my meaning? Because you told me about it, moron. I'm sure you remember that it was the case. If I know that you've been spying on me, we have to be. I can promise you that. I wasn't. We'll see. Now, get this key card reader fixed immediately. Fix it yourself. Fix it yourself. So the only other place you can really go to is the the tennis thing. Shall we have another round? Peter Haha, ha, no. No, I thought I could, but I cannot. Fuck is that? Are you somebody? I see you. There's somebody up there. Oh no, it's just a light. Never mind. Well, what else can I do? Time to push all the buttons. Nothing happened. Nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got stuck. I shouldn't have pushed all the buttons. Okay. I guess we gotta talk to the old people. Do I have to settle and be their slave? They'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, sure. Have, have some, uh, have some drinks. All right, is the sound getting closer though? Mm, I can't tell. I have no reference for the size of the sun. I heard it's big though. Like, bigger than the two football stadiums. Of that I'm sure. Did you take a key card? Peter! Don't fucking Peter. Oh my god, there's nothing to do here. What is this? I guess if I want to advance this story. Hmm. That face. Okay, let's look at that for reference. Look at that face. What is that face? Ah, uh, you're back, Sans Cocktail, it seems again. You have an extra one today, though. What are you talking about? What is what I have asked for one? You asked for one yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't see you yesterday. When did you last see me then? Just a moment ago, when I asked you for cocktails, will you pretty still not have? But that was yesterday. Which I remember if it was. Uh, true enough that my dear Betty has a memory like this still see you. Ah, see, my dear Harold Grace. Uh, you know it's something you right? Just what are you implying? My dear Harold will never dream of insulting me. What you Harold? Oh, of course not. Of course not, my dear. I never hear the end of it, bitch. <sighs> See, now hurry back with those cocktails before I report you to the management. I could do with a drink myself right now. Oh. Day three of N. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. SN9. SN9. Is that the N? What it stands for? Damn it. Hello, son. Are you getting closer? Oh, shit. Ah, well, that answers that, doesn't it? That answers that question that I just had. Hey, hey, I'm inside. I am inside. Yes. Well, what are bitches? Examine. Two authorized key cards. Okay. Will that happen? Mm, hello? Hello? Use it or lose it? Well, you're locked. Hello? Nothing happens. Uh, I think the sun is getting closer. Number two. Do it. Do it. Shy test to be key card. Hmm. What is that? A torso with a booty. Torso with a booty. That's still a torso. What are you? Uh, hello? Ding ding, ding ding, nothing. Well, people think I work here, so might as well, you know? Do I see anything? Huh? No. Hey, there's the peoples. What is this? I see. Examine. Some areas are illuminated, which is the circle in the middle. View map. Ah, a pool. Oh, there is a pool. Bar. Oh, all right. Love it. Terraces. Courts. That's the terrace where. Terraces. <laughs> that's the courts. That's the. Okay. So we just need to go to the bar, then to the pool, and to the. Yeah, that's the pool. To the bar, okay. All right. What's over here? Uh, number two. Uh, bitch, for your, for your face. Hello. Okay, well, such is life. Ooh, it's a ghost. Ooh, wow, wow. Hey, yet again, you share your face with a cocktail inside. I'd be surprised if I hadn't come to expect the way now. The hell was that? I don't need to get me a cocktail. You heard me, didn't you? Hell. Uh, drama is not too much sweet. No, the software. No, the tentacles. No, all of us to bore you in like that. So what about them tentacles? I don't know. It's, uh, it all ties back to the sun acting out of character. Nothing to worry about. All perfectly natural. What are you talking about? Is there something wrong with it? Oh, of course. That explains everything. Uh -huh. Hmm, yeah, that explains, yeah, fuck. I might just use sarcasm. We choose the worst answer, of course it does. I'm very good at explaining things. Isn't that right here? Oh, I wouldn't remove this agree with you, my sweet. I'm not remotely brave enough for that. What's happening to it? Do I? The sun! It's been getting bigger, haven't you noticed? And again, with your keen powers of observation, I can understand how you might have missed it. I oh, don't mean too harsh on the girl. I'm a girl, my love. People of her generation tend to notice, notice such things. What do you mean, bigger? But why? Can't just stop bickering for five seconds. I mean, what's going on? 
Okay. It means that it's going in size, mother. No, I mean, it's not the only thing. Doesn't it worry you? The only thing that worries me is your server tracker. What the hell is going on? Can you suck like a normal human being for once? Doesn't get me seem a little concerning to you? You're wasting it more of my precious time, of course. It seems kind of important. I don't know why you're sorry for extra with this is, but I didn't pick up money to play 20 questions with you. With you all happy, you know? Why is the sun getting bigger? The real question is why are you wasting my time over something so trivial? Make yourself useful for once and call the delivery down for me, will you? Why can't you do it yourself? First off, because I paid to do minion labor. Secondly, because I need to put my face on for the party. The <laughs> can you put on a place you want for a change? The party. Yes, there's a party where almost anyone will be there. It's only expect to make expect that I make myself seen. I are oh, you that the last that's the least sensible option. You know what? Fine. I'm going to waste my time with this conversation when you're playing errands. What the hell's wrong with all of it? Yeah, fine, whatever. Little so much younger when I don't talk to you. Except Harold. Harold looks so old. Hey, it's that guy. What's up, guy? You're inside, not sitting outside on the floor. Oh, hello again. Maybe I can get sense out of you. Come again? What's happening with the sun? Do you remember the sun flaring out or the tentacles are all just up right Oh, that. Well? Oh, well, what? Why is it getting bigger? That's what she said. Who cares? Who knows? Who cares? Don't you? Why should I? Because this sounds really bad. Hmm, uh, probably, I suppose. Anyway, could you fetch my manuscript from my room? It's on the second floor. She have to get to it via the elevator. Is your manuscript? Think about it. I don't know. Who cares about your manuscript? What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yes, my manuscript has stick to the party, and which I need urgently. This again. Why do you care so much about the party? Ah, uh, you know of it. Good. You understand how important this is, then. So please be quick about the manuscript. You know what? Fine. I'll get your mercy. I've got better things to do. What's wrong with you people? Like, what finding what the fuck is going on? Okay, so we came from over there. This should be the place with the drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, bitch. Is it locked? Is it? Did you have to tell me? Did the uh -uh sound was not enough? If you didn't say it was locked, I would have never found out. Hmm. I know I gotta call the elevator, go to the second floor, so this guy's ticket. Go to the party. But let's see. Otherwise, I won't sleep if I don't do the thing. Waste of time, waste of time. Uh uh. Bitch. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, uh, this song sucks. Ambiance. Naked dude. Is that? Is that really your wiener? Oh, he's looking at my wiener. Nope, that's not your wiener. Dun dun dun! Mm. Hey! Hello! Nothing happens. Ah, uh, we're we getting in the elevator. Elevator going down. Ooh! Okay, well, hello. Hello, elevator. Will you open? Are you gonna open? Go. Nope. Will I push the button again? Nothing happens. 
Okay, water in the fudge. Do I have to back up? Elevator. Elevator. Oh, hey. It's utterly unacceptable. What are you doing? Uh, the red is, uh, I'm sorry. Nothing, probably. Uh, Fuck you. Uh, Better. Uh, but it's your job. Fix it. I uh, yeah, uh, need to get to the party as soon as possible. So stop making. Stop talking and start fixing. <laughs> Some vacation. This is first. You mock us on the beach. Now I'm stranded in the lobby without us. Change of delicates. Okay, first of all, there's nothing delicate about them. Okay, I. Nah, nah, her. Well, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Maybe I can't fix it? <sighs> Shit, I don't know. What do you yeah. want to do? You don't know. This is beyond unacceptable. This is gone. Like, I'm gonna miss a party because you have your incompetence. Listen here. Ah, I'm sure Sylvia has his hands in this somehow. She was lucky to pull this kind of stunt. I put all this work into finally being recognized as an award winning author, and somehow it's still not enough to rub shoulders with the upper crust. If you just. Uh, if you have to hear about this all day, I'll uh, make sure you could have as much as I will. If I could. Well, will this be fixed? And God help you if you ask as a matter of minutes. I'm trying. Ah, then I beg my to be left down with here with the rebel. <laughs> she didn't pay my good money to be left down here with the rebel. Can I? This is in the kind of dream I expect when I go to the five stars or well. <laughs> Four stars, actually. <laughs> what? Listen, for the love of God, let's see a few. Please. Day four of N. Roman sense. What number is N in Roman sense? Because I'm not going to play for like 500 days. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this doesn't say shit. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still using the cash Okay, I'm still using Could be seven, could be six. All right, well, let's continue till. Yes. It is locked as expected as I thought. Well, at least they changed its comma. Nothing happens. Hey, what's up, guy? Yes, what do you want? Do you know how I can get out of here? Out of where? The resort. I assume I will leave by the front door. And which one is that? The car park door. Why would you want to leave though? I just do. What do you think this is this out there for you? The rest of the world? Never mind, perhaps before swine. However, this does give me an idea of how you might be able to make up for your other incompetence. My incompetence? Yes, your incompetence. The elevator should have been fixed already. Then again, perhaps it isn't a matter of incompetence, but malice. I haven't done anything. Are you accusing me of something, motherfucker? Yes, I am. Now go find the screwdriver, take the faceplate off the elevator controls, and override the doors. Where am I supposed to find the screwdriver? I don't know, a toolbox, a maintenance cabin, and anything like that. You're the employee, you figure it out. Fine, I'll give it a shot. Do it yourself, mofo. Fuck. Ah, uh, I gotta talk to you, bastard. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, interesting. So I can go beyond the line. Is the elevator fixed? 
Still not my job? Woman. Well, it's definitely not mine. Okay. So it's a fix. I'm not that I know of. In America, for anything around here, here we got servers. <laughs> You're telling me? I wish I was getting servers. I want to sign like it matters anyway. What about the party? Aha, uh -huh, that it probably wasn't worth going to it, even if it even happened at all. This place is still going right above us. This certainly a change of tune. Why not? I saw a young girl head up there this morning and they're letting one of those people. It can hardly be that exclusive. Not nah, can it? What do you mean by those people? Oh Lord, please don't start with her. The last thing we need is another incident like last time. Last time? <laughs> anyway, did you need something there? Actually, do you know how I can get out of here? What do you mean now? You know, leave. That'd be the day. Maybe things would actually get done around here for once. So, so what? So you know how to get out of here? No, you came in, Addison. And that is? You're asking me how you got here because I don't remember how I got here. Can't even keep track of your own movements in my interrupt like most people do there through the car park. Thanks. <sighs> now where art thou car park? Oh look at a convenient convenient map. V the map. Love it. Terraces, courts. Ah, uh, what the fudge you mean? I can't go anywhere else now. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Blinkers? Oh, I do hear the party. Ah, uh, stupid luck. Oh, ho, ho, oh, ho. we're having fun at the bar now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Is this turned off? Just cancel. Mm. Okay, well, this is blink. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you for the blink. Blink number two. Still locked. Blink. Do you see you a toolbox? Examine. Residential maintenance tools. Number two. A screwdriver. Now I can assassinate these bitches. Blink. Number two. Screwdriver. Use the screwdriver. Interesting. Ho ho ho! Ooh! Was I not supposed to go here? Oh, I got out of bounds! Did I get out of bounds? Interesting, I am out of bounds. Well, let's see what's over here. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Well, that sucked. What is that thing? Oh. Examine. Well, that's a weird contraption. Kick hard. Let's go to the pool. Oh, 
Um, what? Day five of N. Clap, 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 clap. Fine, I'll fix the elevator. Stupid bitches. Hot there. Give me a screwdriver, please. Thank you for the bunk. Screwdriver? No! Oh, what's what is this? Hello, hello, what are you? Damn it, I guess I gotta talk to the people again. Oh, hello again. What are you up to, guy? <laughs> Taking a brief moment, at least, to catch up on my reading sounds and interruptions. What are you reading, anyway? Ah, uh, you're still with an interest in finer points of life. I'm reading about the very foundations of modern history at the moment. What do you mean? The Roman Empire, my dear, their teachings, their ways of life, and even their aesthetics are at the very heart of our civilization. The building blocks of modernity, as it were, through the status in this lobby, for example. Roman, are they? <laughs> that they are. The statuses of Jupiter, Mars, and Venus, to be precise. The gods? Yeah. The important gods said that Jupiter is the head of the Roman pantheon, Mars is the god of war and conquest, and Venus is the goddess of love and diplomacy, and we could all do with a little. What? With uh, more than a glass. I think, and all of them were in their own ways and sacred to Roman life. But why are they here? <laughs> well, they do fit with the architect to say the least. The rare person statues to boot. What about the broken one? <laughs> Having the clue about that one, I'm afraid, can I say I recognize it from what's left? Although it's almost certainly Roman in origin as well. Different from the others somehow. I must bless the curse I had in for days. I can't, can't last. I have to know how to fix the car park key car right in. <laughs> Do I now? I suppose I have more of a man than my dear Betty. And far less officious than the bunk fellow. What's a bunk anyway? Oh, <laughs> well, you could write a book in that, I'm sure hell he probably has. Seems so. <laughs> Unstable? Yeah. It's full of anger, that one. No one who tries to appear that composed has anything else underneath, trust me. No one can come and find that out the hard way. But why? Would enough for the life of me? I try not to pay heed to such things. I just keep to myself with my book and do my best to keep my dear buddy as placated as one man could ever hope to. That can be easy. Oh, she may be difficult, but she doesn't mean anything by it. I assure you, it's just her way. She likes things done the way she wants them done. But she wants them done, and she'll have nothing less, one way or another. What do you put up with it? He is enabling her, though. How, how so? Well, she treats everyone terrible, and you do nothing to stop her. You can look at her actions even when she's hurting everyone around her. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. At least I tried to soften the blow for everyone. So you see your actions, just stand by and let everyone's life help because it's easier for you that way. It's not when that was just selfish. Oh, it's not that she's listening to me, if I tried. How are you know? Have you tried? Well, I mean, look, it's hardly my fault that she acts the way she does. She wouldn't act that way if she didn't have someone to constantly excuse her actions. <laughs> you clearly have needed what my eyes is like, but I want to sit here being lectured like this. Do you need anything else? Nah, I can fix the car park. Can you read it? Mm. Mm, do you think it might be have a thorn again? I don't think so. Maybe you know where I can find a spare? <laughs> oh, do you mean no? You know better than I would imagine being an employee, you know? I am not an employee. Neither am I, I'm afraid, so it looks like you're on your own for this one. 
Let's, let's get it out of the base. It can't last. Nothing lasts forever. That much is true. All happening is inevitable. Fleeting. And everything comes to its due. To its end. In due time. Even the world. Unfortunately enough. Although that seems to be coming a touch ahead of schedule. We've accepted that. Tell me, have you ever heard the legend of King Canute? No. He was the king of the North Sea Empire between 1020 and 1035. According to legend, he set his throne upon the beach in order the tide to halt and leave him dry. The sea, however, pays no mind to peasant nor king and sucked them just the same. I mean, that is contemporary, so what do you think? What does that have to do with it? Well, as a king of three empires couldn't stop the tide, how could I ever hope to stop anything coming to its end? I still care about the world and that's something you should accept it. Hmm. Whether I accept it or not hardly matters, I have been just the same with or without my consent. But at least I can try to finish my book before then. I should give you much to do, I dare say. I shall be getting back to my book anyway. Lovely chat, though. It was definitely an interesting one. Todd, or whatever the fuck your name is that I forgot. Mm, let's see if that. Mm, where's the guy? Where's the guy? There's you, guy. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, so I can use some of the bad ideas of just him. Just see, you found some alcohol. Ah, uh, that I did, my dear. Should be more than enough to tie me over until Sylvia arrives. Hmm, she has not arrived yet. Yeah, I'm going to need a drink too, aren't I? <laughs> Never mind that. That's what spurred the moment is chaos. Chaos. You see, all things arise from chaos is the ultimate point of beginning. Knowledge, matter, and yes, even order itself inevitably arise from chaos. Of course, chaos takes countless forms, being the unformed potential that gives rise to all things. One may, of course, ask oneself, what are some of these forms? Uh, we got some pretty things to do right now, so if we could talk about this once you've severed up. Ah, uh, go on. I'm not doing anything. Now, of course, chaos has been depicted in countless forms throughout history. The disrupting dragon, the mad king who's ruled the opens the land, the alchemical prime matter from which all else is to derive. But its forms are important. What important is what chaos is. And that is... Chaos is at the core of the thing, the thing, the font of all things. That much is eminently clear. You see, every form of growth springs from chaos. It is, after all, the inciting act of a story that compels the hero to embark upon their journey of growth. <laughs> you may know it, however, as a precosmotronic embryogenesis that derives it. I can't. Rives, gives rise to the universe of self. Or even that lead filled with impurities waiting to be transmuted into gold and thus endless wealth. What are you even talking about? Now, of course, Kiss has its uses as the insider of action and creation, but the last thing you want to do is go about creating it. Go ahead and see where that gets you. No, Kiss is a human state as much as a state of creation. And one of you want to find yourself in. This chaos bad then. <laughs> then again, it is important to remember that a descent into chaos can foster personal growth, but there's plenty of chaos to go around without you needing to add to it. That raises the question of what does one do? Talk incidentally about it? Listen to a drunk? Number one. <laughs> You've got to find a descent into it when you have to take what you need and come out the the other side that's ordered right there imposing systems into chaos to create now that's a delicate human story you find it 
from the epic of Gilgamesh all the way to the next to my next bestseller. The hero's journey wrapped up in a bow right there, one distance and and then a sense, and the world is better for it. But the world isn't really the center of it, of course. Can I send that of this conversation? Well, it's very nice when Mary's expecting me. This is nonsense. It's the self. The stories are about the self. You see, no one can be trusted to change the world for the better. And God help you if you think you can. You've got to take up stories as a metaphor for self-improvement. Of course, we got. We go through bouts of chaos. We strive against them and we grow as people. And that's why it's the hero's journey. It's about the hero first and foremost. So how do you go about improving the self? By valuing the time of others? By not having this conversation? Look, I've sort of got things to do. Number one, you've got to start at home and prove yourself wherever you can. Straighten out the chaos in your own life. If you all did, the world will be a better place, let me tell you. This is exactly why I wrote my last book, to give people a framework to improve themselves. So of course she did. That's my small contribution to make the world a better place. After all, if we all improve ourselves, then the world around us is immeasurably improved along with us. Can you say trying to improve the world was a bad idea? Are you sure that's what you wrote? Number one. Now improving yourself is no small task. Trust me, it's as monumental as the creation of the heavens and of the earth to stare into the face of the dragon and slay it in your own life. But that's the human journey. And how heroes are made and the world is in the sore need of heroes. It's not as glamorous as the stories make it out to be, but of course few people, if any, will even know that you've done it to look at you. Except, of course, in the content of your character and how it shines out from the self. Know what happens if you don't improve yourself? You write a book, there's chaos is in it. Chaos, endless chaos. You become the dragon, it takes you over and wears you like a skin as it destroys the world around it. The myths, of course, portray this more fancifully than it really is. You won't be breathing any fire, to say the least. But you will start to destroy your relationships, your productivity, and the systems around you. And destroying the systems around you is a dangerous game, you can trust me on that. I'm noticing a thing, a theme here. Systems are in place for a reason, to stop rampant chaos. You go undermining that and there's no telling what evils you might just unleash. The systems of the world are far older than you and I. In a lifetime we struggle to begin to understand why they're there. And the last thing you want to do is start to disrupt things you don't understand. Even if you could, what would you replace them with? How could you even be qualified to do so? But they were created by someone to begin with, so do nothing? How revolutionary. I'm not listening to another word of this. Number one. Of course, plenty of people will tell you they know how to change the systems in place or even advocate destroying them. They're the most dangerous of all living dragons whose only calling in life is to sow chaos. Just go ahead and see whether where misguided overthrow of the system gets you. No, we're good, that's for sure. The hero brings order to chaos. The villain is the one that brings chaos to order. Now you might say that I'm just arguing the for things to stay the way they are, but that's not true. <clears throat> you improve yourself to improve the world, and by extension, the systems of the world. They're an organic thing, after all. If we can better ourselves, draft chaos from the sanctum, we can drive out the chaos that slips past the system, and that is the highest calling of all. Yeah, let me guess, your break tells me how to do that. I hear the hero, I suppose. Don't call it, I care what it's calling of this conversation. Number one. I've done what I can to highlight all of this in my books. Where did this get off? Uh oh. Well, whatever. See if I've got it all worked out. If you just followed it. Guidelines I set out, the world would be far better. After all, once you've banished chaos from your own life, what higher calling is there than teaching others how to do it? Uh, why is this not working? Well, let's keep going. 
I know it sounds egotistical of me, but my inner list will be abdicating my own responsibility and making the world a better place. It's the least I can do. And finally done. I'm sure you're selling the books entirely out of the goodness of your own heart. Anyway, these are all fantastic poems that I'm making, but I need somewhere to write all of this down before I forget. You can fetch my manuscript from my room upstairs. I do, but I far to be busy keeping all of this in my head to risk it. But the elevator isn't working. Oh, I'm sure I remember if that was the case. Just hurry back, will you? I guess I'll try. I'm not doing shit for you. Let's talk to the... Before you go, I know where this is going. It just occurred to me that I completely forgot to mention the most important part of all. Called it. You see, the hero is meaningless as a concept unless you understand the other aspects of the self that manifest within us. There is, of course, the matriarch and the patriarch to begin with. They're the part, they're the parents of the hero, if you will, and that which must be reclaimed and folded unto the self. Oedipus dealt with this extensively, but I feel it could use some elucidation beyond the usual Freudian take on the whole scenario. I don't know where this, I don't like where this is going. Of course, I like my cigars to remain. Cigars, things have inherent definition to them, you see, despite what Freud would have, to, would have you believe. Oh. Please, tell me more. The patriarch is in fact something to be replaced, as of course in all mythological cycles, although perhaps not so less seriously, as one of could believe with a cursory reading of the text. The next generation inevitably replaces the last, and this is the framework from which the patriarch finds himself replaced as his aspect of rulership is folded into the child, to the city of Jupiter, and in the lobby, lobby for example, must say. Uh, <laughs> the name derives from the words of for sky and father. Now you can't get any more clean than that. And as the quintessential father figure, he's portrayed as a god of systems and prosperity. He laid down the precepts of Roman religion, including the need for sacrifice. He exemplified the perfect role of the father. That which the child must inevitably become the even handed ruler of all. There is no stopping you, sir. Can you at least replace father with daddy and make this far more tolerable? Have I really? Uh, number one. This is, of course, what the hero's journey is all about growing enough as the person to take on the mantle of the patriarch to establish yourself as worthy to rule. There is a balance to be struck to be sure. Too much. Pat paternalism and the world finds itself bound by systems that smother everything around them nothing good comes of that the trick is to become the just patriarch to rule with fairness and even handedness always lifting up striking down only as necessary why then is Oedipus so racked with grief in taking the role of the patriarch nah, I can think of 69 reasons off the top of my head <laughs> can't you take hint seriously because taking on the mantle of the patriarch requires the death of the current patriarch, the death of the father. And he would be racked with grief as the death of the father is only human. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is an inevitable aspect of the cycle of life, and the only way that, the, that one can truly move from child to adult, but it's also a Christian responsibility. There has no one to look up to, to tell them what to do. They find themselves having to make their own choices for good or ill from that point on, and that's terrifying, far more so than just doing what you're told. So what about the matriarch then? Is it going to be equally horrifying? You sit with her, right? <laughs> I really don't know that what to hear about this. Unfortunately, we, can, we only have a statue of Venus close at hand. And obviously, she embodies the virgin, not the matriarch. Obviously, are you sure about that? That's not, you know what? Never mind if I pretend to listen. Just let me go. Obviously. Far better analog would be Jupiter's wife, Juno, the queen of the Roman pantheon. She embodies the quintessential matriarch, the one that rules over the love and marriage. And serves as a perfect example of the ideal, ideal role of feminine in society. She's the keeper of society by way of the home. By undercutting strife in the home, 
At its very root, she allows society at a large to thrive. Her role is that of the matriarch whose task is to keep chaos at bay at the most molecular level of society, their family. Now Freud would have something to say about that, I'm sure, and he wouldn't be too far off the mark in that men, by and large, do seek out women like their mother, at least assuming that they come from a healthy household. Now, if they come from a more unfortunate background, others say they seek out the aspects of the mother that they suffer for lacking in their home. This seems incredibly sexist. This is some body social critique. This is a complete waste of time. Number three is correct, but let's go with number two. Now, the hero being male can take out the aspect of the metric in full, but he does need to follow the appropriate aspects in via a healthier approach. Of course, Jung spoke of this at length in his concept of the anima, the unconscious feminine within all men. Ah, of course. Young. Hmm. However, one must put particular stress on the concept that to be truly whole, the man must integrate the anima into his consciousness in a holistic sense. The hero then must not only take on the burden of the hero's journey to become the patriarch, but also incorporate the matriarchal aspects of the anima into himself. Thus, coming out of chaos, taking on the mental rulership, and moving into adulthood. This complete gibberish. You realize that, right? This on the internet, or well, I'm in a hero's journey right now, actually. So, if you just let me go. Number one. Well, of course, this isn't just a static process. There's no one and not no one and done to it. But its very nature, as part of the human experience, is inherently cyclical. We become the patriarch by matter of degrees every time we take on the hero's journey to find ourselves. And in finding ourselves, we become more and more the patriarch, learning new aspects of the role and coming to be a greater understanding of both ourselves and the world around us. self improvement and endless endeavor inevitably so. Okay, we embark upon our quest to break free of it again and again. You've got problems, for sure. But what about women? One must always be ready to take the mantle up once again and set out on their quest, tirelessly breaking themselves from their chaos else it eternally consume them and they become the villain instead of the hero. Ah, that's a Batman code, isn't it? Oh, in a long enough time, I know one armor eventually loses its luster, its shine, and it starts to rust. That is when chaos strikes, when we least expect it. Oh, of course, it can take countless forms of a person on a personal level the grief of loss, mal- malice. Not getting the promotion we wanted, or indeed getting it. After all, once you get what you want, what do you do then? Well, you better hope you have another arching goal to your life, or else you'll find yourself back in the chaos. Fighting once again to break free. I see this with kids all the time. They finally get the job they wanted, or finish their degree, and then what? Does any of this actually make your life better? So I have to kill my father, sleep with my mother, and then for the stars. Got it. I love to be in the case of how being done with this conversation. Number one again. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you have my manuscript yet? Do you need to write all this down, you know? Uh, still not my job, motherfucker. <sighs> Let's talk to what's her name. Mm, the sun is getting closer. Oh, perfect. You okay? Do you know I can be the car parking car reader? Ah, oh, yes, that one that you brought. I might know how you can fix it. How? Right, you've got to do something for me. I hear Bunk managed to come across some alcohol. Do be out there and fetch me a drink, and the bottle should be real behind that car, so you know where that is. Alright. Just tell me how to fix the key card reader. And to get where your only motivation to actually do something is for, for once, I don't think so. Hurry back. No, I do try not to get lost. If there's any alcohol left when I'm done, I'll let you know. How about I do something yourself for once? Bish. Interesting. Now give me some alcohol. Ooh, liquor. Examine. It's full of salt. Oh, well. What about you? Are you full of salt also? Uh, girl, your s- alcohol is salt. The bottles are full of salt. I mean they're full of salt. I mean they're full of salt. There's an liquor in there. Maybe you've heard of it. 
So I'm over here to raise that white stuff that people taste about put on food. Every day I find myself in all of your incompetence and you make a point to practice it. It just come naturally to you. I think what you asked not tell me how to fix the key card reader. I don't know if it's probably blue. It's always if it's the go first back home. Yeah, it's a refuse then. Do you think it's a fuse? Yeah. I'm on vacation. Why don't I would have kind of fuses around? You're an employee. I'm sure you must know where to spread it. I don't. That's nice. It's been wonderful as always. But I must get back to sunbathing. Please don't hesitate to talk to me again if you manage to trip over a cocktail. Uh oh. Well, that was exhausting. Day six of N. Is this song getting bigger? Coming closer? Are you getting closer, son? Oh, you can crouch. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing happens. It Ooh, I've seen that hentai. And I do not like where this is going. Can I find another screwdriver? Oh, who the fuck is you? Oh, impeccable Tommy. I appreciate that. I'm looking to check in. Could you organize that for me? Uh, are you are you to check in. Did you just come from upstairs? And you are... <laughs> Sylvia, one moment. <laughs> Examine. Did our bridges make their way through here? Just getting someone new for once. Ha <laughs> ha. Excellent. Is there anything else? How did you get inside? Through the front door? You mean the car park? Of course, but the car reader is broken. My car priests were fine anyway. If there's nothing else, I must be gone. Actually, Bunk's been waiting for you. I think Bunk wants to see you. By the way, are you here for a meeting? Cool, Number cool, one. Cool, cool. Is that so? Yeah, he's been waiting for days. He seemed fairly adamant about it. Did he know? Yes. Well, then tell him that I've arrived and give him this on next time you see him, will you? What? Why can't you just give it to him? So well, my time. And I'm mine, bitch. Tell me what's your better time. Never mind that because it's polite. Because I'm a human being. Hardly a rare trait, I assure you. And no one I particularly care about. What's that supposed to mean? If you keep this up, then I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. Fine, I get the hint. You could answer. I'll leave you to it then. Thanks. Uh, number one. Uh, back to soon. Have you never been there? Not yet. Get to it. Fine. Oh, perfect timing. I was just looking to check in here. I checked in here. I've been here for days. I think you must have been mistaken for someone else here. I only just arrived this morning. You check the race, I'm sure you'll see that's the case. And if you sign me while you are, I appreciate it. The name's Harold, by the way. No problem, Harold. X7. But the operations are over here. Checking Betty's hospital. Yeah. Thank you very much. I could get someone to run my luggage upstairs when you have a chance. As well, I'd be much appreciated. My legs aren't quite too for these to be, I'm afraid. I don't think anyone else is here. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Alex, I was just looking for an employee. Where are you? Oh, goody. Indeed, I need to check in. You see, I was hoping you could take care of that. I should be listed on their bunk. I'm afraid I see a stop bunk. You haven't checked in. I know, I've been waiting for an employee to come by so I could rectify it. Why don't you. Then when you got here. 
What do you think I'm doing? I only just arrived. Anyway, can we take care of this quickly? How many to get to? If I have to. Got a three time best selling author bunk. Oh, thank you. Now I'm afraid I must be going lots today. Can you take any luggage upstairs for me? Try not to be careful with it. I didn't manage if my next book is in there. I can't go listen to that. They asked me to give this to you. That's just already here then. Let's have a look. Should this for me? Yes. Well, this can be right here. Give this to her when you can. See if we can get this cleared up. I'll see what I can do. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, good, are you there? You are. I was sorry to wonder if anyone was in the Sorry, busy morning. Oh, that's quite a ride there. I know how it is. If you can find the time to send me into the register, I can get my car, though. Appreciate the name of Harold, you're wondering. I know. Check in. Harold again. Thank you so much. If you could get someone to run my luggage upstairs and have a chance, that'd be much appreciated. Well, it's like what they used to be after all. Check in last time. Still on my job, Harold. Sylvie, um, ah, there you are. I'll be waiting quite a while. Can you please show me again? Oh, I already did. What is talking about? Never mind. See if it was. Hey, you asked me to check in. That would be correct. All right, one sec. Number three. Excellent. Now there's nothing else I take it. I should want someone to give you this now. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. give, give this to the wind man when you see him, will you? Against my better judgment. Mm, this is turning out. Oh, no, I hit her. Fine, I have to do some work to do. I couldn't wait. What do you want this time? What do you mean this time? I've never seen you before in my life. Now hurry up and check me in, buddy. That's with two, Betty. That's with two teeth. Betty, I've been here for days. Trust me, I couldn't. I couldn't forget having met you if I tried. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I only just got here now. Do your job. I'm missing perfectly good sometime. If you say so. Checking Betty with two teeth. There, now that was so hard. Why should I be there and take my luggage upstairs? It's the least you can do to make up for my waste of time. Look it over yourself, bitch. Bye. Bye. That's about time, sorry about that. What can I do for you? Let me guess, you need to check in. But of course, why is what I be waiting here? You'll find the list again on their bunk and make a quick place. Ah, must I? Yes, fine. Chicken bunk arm. Thank you, there's nothing else. Can you run my luggage upstairs? Listen, it has the minus where my magnum up is in it. Utterly irreplaceable. Actually, see why I'm going to give you this now. Okay, then let's see, let's see what she has to say. Oh, yeah, did she say it was for me? I sure as that was last time. You did it for sure, did you? Oh, why would I do that? Uh, good question. Take this to her immediately. I'll be keeping my eye on you, so don't try anything clever. I oh, went in there. The only clever thing around here. Maybe the. Ha 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 Can I go this way? Damn, I don't want that to that old man. No! Well, I'll be with her out here for an hour. You know, you should bring more stuff in there. We talked to you yesterday. You're sitting in the chair over there, right there. Do you remember? You've done this already twice. Oh, there you really have a work to do. Well, how about this? You check in and how oh, you believe it. Oh, there's that sound. What's the name, by the way? The hell's going on here? Right, nothing. Fuck you. You're not getting checked in. There we go, sir. Now, if I can ask you one last favor. Take my leverage and set for you. Oh, you're a sharp one. I hope they pay you the big bucks for that. No oh, capacity to pay me enough for this. Oh, man. It's a normal to keep it pure in the picture. Just start off again, Sylvia. Come again, this is the third time. Really, yes, really, Sylvia. 
I'm inside all curves that you do. Seems to be how it usually goes. Well then, third time's a charm, I'm sure. Fingers crossed. Chicken in. Hat trick. That's all. Max said the best is to you. Well, he just very well. Uh, but what I expected here takes this to him earlier. Really. Not that uh, sure, whatever. Damn it, I hate this bitch. It's about time I've been waiting to check it for two years. But I just check you in. What are you on about? I haven't been in uh, been here. Just check me in. Betty, that's what duty. Seriously. Alright, check it. One bag with luggage, right? Nothing. Fuck you, Betty. Okay, my luggage upset. I have. Thanks to be doing. Uh, Liberators, nope. Suck it, Betty. Oh, yeah. oh, you see who the hell have you been? I need to check in immediately for I never missed my meeting already because of you, sir. But that's sir, Bank Watson. I can understand your latest book, by the way. I'll check you. Check it right away. Try to avoid this conversation. Checking in. Obviously, the listener is in the bank. Be quick about it. The best case for book burning I've ever made, right? Nothing. Oh, by the way, say this is not for you. Well, at least you can do something, right? Give that here. What's the meaning of this? What do you mean? It's clearly a forgery. There's no way that Sylvie would talk to me like this, especially through Chloe's Patsy. That's what she gave me. I'll be the judge of that. I'm going to get to the bottom of this myself and I'll find her. You'll be lying to me, you'll regret it. You can trust me in that. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, this is right acceptable, you know. Let me just begin for two hours. More than that, more than an no, all. Just a baseball to keep an old man standing around on these poor legs like this. Please check me in so I can go sit down. Put me down on the hair. This is absurd, even. A man, and inevitably his dog. Thank you, dear. Don't worry about your luggage. Uh, no, that's a kind of a proactive customer service. I'll have you on track of management before long. Mark my words, it's the least I deserve. Okay. Hey, there you both are. Now you'll see you pump jumped up, son of a bitch. This is new. How dare you talk to me like that? Don't you know who I am? You take it just so. <laughs> An arrogant self publishing blowhard with a back case of Oedipus Complex. Ooh. What are you two arguing about? After everything I've done for you, first you spent the entire day blowing me off, and now this, I have half a mind to. Look. Half a mind? See what I mean about arrogant? Ah, uh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> if we were in public right now, you'd what? Cry? Drink? Hit me? Your mother woke up to try, but we wouldn't know how that ends. Ooh, you're a bitch, punk. That's the last child, you damn venom of shoe. Ooh, ooh, a gun. Or examine. Well cared for. Neat. Collects. Keycard, examine. All areas, yes, collect. And he's what are you planning to do with that? Get to the part, car part. Need a gun for that, will you? It's a key card. Hey, what would you need? I suppose a key card to get to the car park. I thought you were an employee. I'm not an employee. Let's go to the car park. Ignore all this crazy bitches. I don't care about them. This is where the car park is. Number two, eight. People being. Oh, come on. Come on. What is this? Ooh, tentacles. Tentacles everywhere. Let me get out. Ah, son of a biscuit. Okay, well, I'm not going to play this anymore because I am so very tired. Ooh, something different. Examine number one. 
this wouldn't do much without a key. Oh man, now we gotta find a stupid key. X7, number one. This wouldn't give me that much a key. Hey, what up, girl? Room service is that your line? What? Hi, um. Let me guess, you need a cocktail. Right. Ah, sense of humor. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Very refreshing. So it's okay, you've been keeping, they've been keeping you busy, to say the least. Ah, well, such things can't be helped, and the guests can have their uses at times, but it's best not to let them bog you down too much. Trust me, I've been trying. That's what I like to hear. You can have my spare key card. I'm trying not to get too lost from now on, okay? Can't have an employee getting themselves locked in the closet. Does everyone think I'm an employee? I think so, guys. I'm still lost. Right, you're in every store. The finest this side of a white, beautiful, clear blue sky, pristine beach, and the rest and the best on the side. Heating system. In the Milky Way. No, I mean. Don't worry, I'm kidding. This place is strange. Hard to describe. Something you, you more experienced, really. If I had to explain it, well, consider someone show you a piece of furniture. What's the first thing you try to do? Look at what it is. Exactly without knowing what it is. What well, it's just a bunch of pieces of wood arranged together, right? But furniture is defined by what we use it for. That's what the resort does. It sort of things into neat categories, one way or another. It's, just, it's trying to sort me. Basically, you show up here and it's trying to work out what your function is and where you go. Apparently, the best fit is employee. For now, it's kind of a defining force. If I can define something. You've seen that thing on the beach, right? Looking statue. That's no, 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 no. so what it does if it can't sort you. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, not the best way to go. Let's uh, change this up. We got any questions? <sighs> Hundreds? Uh, look how you've been here. What's going on here? No. Oh, I uh, bet. How about we start with one or two for now, though? How do you know so much about this place? Oh, that one's easy. It was just swing here for you don't know. That long, huh? Uh, I'm sure I probably did, but that's hardly important in the grand scheme of things. Bigger problems to worry about, don't you think? Like the sun? Like this sun, we're supposed to deal with it. No, yeah, well, it's a large world of superheated reaction that gives up radiation and heat. Sometimes a little more than you'd like. Yes, but I know, I know, just having some fun. I like I get many opportunities for it opportunities for it these days when it comes to our impeding toasty and well it's inevitable and it was always going to be inevitable with them if you think about it anyway we should get going i've got something to show you where are we going you'll see soon enough honestly though you should probably pay more attention to where you are than where you're going well let's do another after all where exactly are we maintenance tunnels they run everywhere beneath the resort why are they for makes sense Mm, I'm walked into that one. Smart ass. Yep. So it's just boring old man in space then. Yeah, well, it's nice to take over now, of course. Who? No, who? What? What? Exactly. Well. Exactly. Huh? The governor. Alright, so. Ah, uh, send a get a feedback loop. Uh huh. Kind of like a regular for what? Everything in the resort. No, the maintenance space. The regular is the maintenance space. The regular is the resort. That's what I said. Do you? Yeah. Sorry, how does the regular the resort? They maintain so much stasis. How? Good question. Well, I don't know. Is it important? Very okay. Best to leave it alone, honestly, it's not really something you want to mess with. Ah. Yeah, and I've got something to show you. The governor? You'll see. Follow me and stay close. It's way too easy to get lost down here. Ah, lead on. Well, let's go.
Um, service? Or is that just your line? What? Uh, hi, I assume you're my manager. Let me ask you a cocktail. Ah, oh, so you remember, this is one of the very first. I think you were very good to say the least. <laughs> Trust me, I've been trying. I think I'm gonna fix, I guess I'm still lost. Mm, uh, it's better to uh, kick her and put you getting those locked in the closet. Mm, uh, are you okay? How do you mean you keep passing? seem to be stuttering a lot. Refreshing. No, sir, I guess I'm not really to new conversations. New conversations. What? When all we have heard the same words for long enough, you tend to learn to answer an autopilot instead of thinking about what you're saying. Saying is all. I see. What are you talking about? I think to do, but get used to it again, I suppose. Not like us in place, how much choice in the matter. So we're thinking about playing. Oh, oh, there's it does. There is a, it's not such a bad thing, really. You find that gives you a bit more freedom than most. Mm, that depends on what you believe. It's a place that you think personally, feel that a place is just somewhere that's been defined by the people interacting with it. There's a touch of bleeding through authority when you give meaning to a place like that. I see. This place is a reserve, and just have quests, guests, and employees. You don't seem to be. The type to help now with middle age socialize, so I have to be an employee. Exactly, we are one on a stage has a role to play after all. The audience rarely finds themselves in the spotlight. Makes Wait, sense. How we could clear that up now? Any questions? Um, what's going on? Here? We're having a conversation now, like in the resort. Oh, yeah, right. Well, that's hard to explain. I guess this is what it explains that we're trapped in a resort, but physically and temporarily. Temporarily. Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of like a time of you, If you do break free, everything just starts over. How long have you been here? Who knows? Maybe we're maybe forever. I'm trying to think about it. Uh, that long, huh? Yeah, but it's not important in the grand scheme of things. We're supposed to wear, but then you think like the sun. What's the worst to deal with it? What's going to do about it? Uh, not much to do, honestly. At least not directly. What will happen? What happen? What matters is how we respond to it. Any of this of that front? I'll be here. Mm, I think it might have one or two, but we can discuss those later. For now, follow me. I've got some trade. Where are we going? You'll see sooner. So we're except, huh? One late thing to another. I mean, it's all there. We're never with the is there anything oh, that's that's now? oh yeah, now you mentioned the government is not here to who? Oh, or who what? What exactly? Well, well what exactly? Ha, huh, the governor. Alright, so. Man, it's gonna get a feedback loop. We cannot get rid of for what? Everything in the resort. Yeah, the maintenance space. Oh, the maintenance space. No, really, the resort. That's what I said. Did you? Yeah. Sorry, I just regular the resort. Homeostasis. Homeostasis. Well, good question. I don't know. Is it important? Very okay. Honestly, we're lots of little no messes. Ah, now I've got something to show you, the governor. You see, follow me. Lead on. Oh, there you go. I'm just gonna keep going. Ah, you're shitting me. Interesting. Hello, son. Welcome to the villas. Okay, why are we here? Why do you find yourself being defined into banality, but to find somewhere less defined? You never know when a dresser might find itself a table in such a place. Well, that make me a table then. You hardly seem that square anyway. You think of the place as more of a temporary retreat than anything else. Why does it close this place anyway? Hmm, it used to be a part of the resort. I think, but such a rather fluid. 
I feel one day you're in the surveillance and next year just the villas. Some tomorrow maybe you're a parking lot. A house is hardly a home if no one's looking at it. So we're finally at our start. Not quite. We're on the fringes of it, I suppose. The villas aren't exactly a part of the resort anymore, but they are. Still on the edges, just a tad fuzzy about it. Mm, well, I'd love to keep chatting, but it seems this is coming to an end, unfortunately. But I have more questions. But it's we hope that I... Uh, damn it. Like, I'm tired of playing this stupid game, but I want to know what happens. I'll be here. Hey, can you hear me? Huh? You went really quiet there for a moment. What's the last thing you remember? We were in the village. Oh, well then. Have a good sleep, did you? I think I did. Mm, sure. I slept like a rock. Well, I didn't see any mouse on you. I hope not. Yeah, that'd be pretty weird. So, what now? Good question. We continue to the resort and wait for an opportunity. What kind of opportunity? Mm, we find some cracks that we can exploit. Cracks? From contradictions. Contradictions? Yeah, where? In the state? The state? The resort has cracks? From, yeah, from contradiction. In the state? All states have them. What kind of contradictions? This one was. How do we exploit them? That seems convenient. Oh, who knows? We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But we'll. They'll help us escape. How do you know this is going to help us? I don't. At least not exactly. Well, I guess we don't have any better options for now. Unfortunately, let's make some cracks then. That's the spirit. What do I need to do? You will lean into your own for the moment and keep your eyes open for what? My Salt, mercury, and sulfur. Why? I'm sorry. Bit odd, isn't it? To say the least. What is the name of the game here? But what do we need now? If we find them, I'll tell you. Oh, can you tell me now? Where it's closer, so for that to be a good idea. Is that a problem? What's it gonna do? Mm, have you noticed anything weird happening to time since you got here? It seems to I seem to lose a lot of things changed and no one seems to notice. Mm, like the past itself has been written why there's a control side. Mm, I think that it less control side more defines it from what I've seen. Uh, are you okay? Alright, well I guess we're going this way. Hello? Alright, let's go. Kapla! Examine. Oh, this might cause, I guess, some grief. Anything. Okay. <laughs> well, 
Well, fuck it. They can stay hot. Peek. This way. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna quit this game right now because I'm so tired. What time is it? How long have I been playing this? Where am I? Hey, I know this thing. Yes. Oh, number two. Beep boom. Okay, what? I see you are you okay that you were saying of uh, what am I doing with this? Oh there are where you are really are you the one? I won't keep you. You just check in the ledger and let me know where the Betty is. I'll let you get some rest. Sure. Betty, Betty, Betty. Examine. The reason make their way through here. Number two. Her lobby, Betty Teresa's bunk bar. Sylvia Pool. Oh, that's where she's on the terrace. Makes sense as opposed to anywhere there to get some rage. You look terrible. I need to find her. Oh, you just missed her. She didn't know where she went. Oh, I think it's her heading towards the terrace. It's actually good. Up. It's just, I need to look. Thanks. Okay, now where is the stupid terraces? Ter terraces? This game is weird as fuck. Number two, eh? Down. Oh, okay. Is this working out? Nothing happens. I guess it's not working. Do it. Why do you need a key card to exit? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, what I'd be. Oh, well, look, there's a girl I want to see. Is it the smile? What's that? We are happy to have this place in my book. I was wondering if we could find it from my sure where you last see it. I think I left in the lobby somewhere there's a can have one for I have a look. And luck not yet. <laughs> Bring us cross. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm kinda done. Yeah, I found the book right here. Harold's book. Well I can do with the bottom of a suitcase. All right, let's go. I think it's the right one. Oh, yes, thank you. Where was the honey? I was just down here on the boardwalk. Oh, dear me, I really wasn't paying attention. I said, well, thank you. You'll be lost without my book. So, work here for you. All right, um, I think she may have gone to the bar or was it the pool? Well, either way, it was definitely one of those. I hope you have better luck on her than I have ever. Thank you. <sighs> okay, yep. I'm done. Uh, okay, bye. Save an exit. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Confirm. I guess. Thank you for watching. <laughs> but I'm fucking done. I'm tired. It's 11.30 for my planes. It's like 9 a.m. God damn. Alright. Th thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Stay out of the sun is getting closer. Good night. Happy birthday.